one way uh, which is very uh, obvious is when you have a conversation with your teenagers at home, uh, you know, during your family time, whether it's lunch, dinner, breakfast or whenever. And when they start to talk about um, their friends uh, from school, the people that they meet, and they always play a comparison. Um, for example, if you were to tell your son or your daughter to do something in the house, and they start to say, but so-and-so doesn't do it, how come I must do it? Um, that's actually a, a red flag already because uh, suddenly there's this comparison going on. And so you need to actually sit down and find out why is your teenager reacting the way he's reacting. Now, that is one way to tell um, that there is already uh, some sort of undesirable influence taking place. Now, on the flip side, uh, if your children, is they are very close to you, they want to hang with you all the time, and their conversation is always uh, not comparative in nature, but they, they sort of say, you know, today me and my friends, we did this, this, this. And it's always good stuff that they're doing, funny and, you know, laughable moments. Uh, and if you want to go to the mall, for example, and they want to follow you even before it's just for a short while, uh, then that's a good indication that they probably have uh, pretty good, wholesome friends who are not undesirable in nature, you know. And so this is um, the best way to find out whether, number one, you have a negative, they have a negative set of friends or number two, they have uh, good, uh, wholesome friends. Do you have any questions on teenage issues? Visit lifeplus.com and share it with us. We'll get the answers for you from an expert team. Life Plus.